Mayweather is preparing for his big fight on August 26th against MMA fighter Conor McGregor. Floyd says that this particular fight, unlike most every fight he's ever had, cannot be a defensive fight. This has to be action because he feels some type of way about the buyer remorse from his fight, his 12-round victory over Manny Pacquiao two years ago. Now, Floyd is saying he's going to bring the fight to Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is a younger guy. He's, he's bigger. He's stronger. But he's an MMA fighter. Floyd Mayweather is a traditional classic boxer. Not just a regular classic boxer, but a championship. One of the greatest boxers to ever lace up gloves. Now, these are two different sports now. You got boxing on one hand which is a stand-up combat sport. And then you have MMA, which is stand-up, roll around on the mat, tussle, wrestle, and all kind of things. I think that Conor McGregor has a chance. Anytime you get into a boxing ring, there's always a chance anything could happen. But I think that chance is a long shot. We're talking about a long shot. And I think that the odds are going to actually, the odds are already in Floyd's favor, the betting odds. And I think that the odds are going to extend by the night of the fight. I just don't see Conor McGregor winning this fight. Now, Floyd has been trying to talk this fight up. He's been saying that he's lost a step. He's saying he's not the person he used to be. He used to have a 90% uh, knockout ratio. That's way down. The chance that Connor has is that Floyd has not shown any power in at least the last half decade. So, Connor can actually take some chances here. He really has nothing to lose. He going, he's going to pick up a huge payday. Everybody knows who he is. He's a huge draw. He can go for broke. And if he get knocked out, nobody will say, ah, hi, that's what you get. They'll be like, hey, man, well, we thought that's what we thought was going to happen, you know? We knew that would happen. If he knocks Floyd out, man, he's going to change the course of history. Now, he really solidifies. He puts his name in the history books forever because Floyd is 49 and 0, and he wants to get to that 50 and 0. Some people are saying that he should have an asterisk by that 50 if he should win this fight, if he so happens to win this fight. Because they're saying that this is really not a fight. This is really not a boxing match. This is more like an exhibition. And most boxing enthusiasts agree. I'm one of those enthusiasts. I, I don't feel like this is a real boxing match. And I don't think it should be really graded like other matches has been graded. You know, the other matches that he has participated in. Because Conor McGregor has never entered a boxing ring and competed before in his life. So this is almost like putting a guy up, you know, just a guy that's, he's gung-ho, he's excited, he want to fight, but he's getting into the ring with somebody who is 49 and 0, and he's never had a fight before in his life. Now, like I say, Anytime you get into the ring, you got a shot. I mean, because all it takes is one punch. And you can be out of here. It can happen. When I was in the amateurs, I, <laughs> I was winning the majority of the fight. It was three-round fight, uh, three minutes. 
I won the first. I won the first two rounds easily. I'm talking about. I'm coasting. Man, I went to plan around, and dude caught me with a lucky one, and bam, fight over. So it can happen. How'd you get to